Welcome to my lair. Okay, okay, okay. So Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon are are on the shelves. Everybody can play them now. And uh, I've looked at uh, one of my buddies here on the internet, uh, which I still watch from time to time, Skyrider, my bro. Um, and I've looked at this new Pokemon that were uh, around, and I was like, wow, all this stuff that changed, it's, it's crazy. I actually want to try Pokemon. Uh, I don't have a 3DS anymore, guys. I've sell, I've sold that, and uh, yeah, I, I just, I just wanted to play some Pokemon. Just wanted to see how it goes, and see, you know, if I'm gonna enjoy it enough, uh, maybe I'm gonna make more. If, of course, this kind of gets uh, viewed enough, maybe then. But honestly speaking, I'm not in for the views right now. I really want to just enjoy myself. And uh, looking at my stuff right now. Uh, yeah, these are the new Pokemon, so at least this one is. Uh, I'm not gonna spam them, like I feel like one is enough and then we're gonna appropriately learn as I go. I think that's the best uh, situation wants to want, you know, one wants to put himself into, to kind of learn as they go, you know. So we got Naga Nadel. Naga Nadel? I don't even know how you pronounce that because I haven't watched um, videos of this Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I've been completely blind by it. So I'm going into this completely without any knowledge of the Pokemon games. So I'm uh, pretty rusty, like e extremely rusty. So we got Na Naga Na Del, then we got Scizor, Mega Scizor of course. Uh, actually I'm gonna have Technician with this, uh, would make much sense to have that. Uh, Intimidate also, this uh, Solution and Levitate and Beast Boost, yes exactly. So I think it's better I show you guys my team right here. Scizor, Arcanine, Tapulele, Zorak. It's basically like an illusion team with uh, three of my Pokemon having a, sort of a scout. Uh, four, I mean. And then of course we got Arcanine and Tapulele to kind of dish out damage and whatnot. So we're gonna start with OU right now and see uh, where this leads us. Uh, let's see what am I doing wrong. OU, show teams, uh, untitled. Yes, there it is. And allow. Yeah, sure. Why not? Active 2000 uh, battles taking place right now as we as we take a uh, step into the following battle. We got uh, Hell Nine Tails. Oh, Hell Nine Tails! <laughs> uh, we got. Okay, the, um, I know that uh, I think Landorus gets uh, something devastating, I feel. I think it gets something very devastating, but I cannot seem to remember what that is. Uh, another way, I think I'm gonna lead with uh, Rotom. Should I lead with Rotom? Isn't Rotom like too obvious? Probably is. He's probably gonna like expect a Zorak lead, so I'm actually just gonna lead with Rotom anyways. Uh, he's gonna lead with Galvantula. Uh, that's pretty good because Bug Buzz and all this stuff, I think I can take that. I can also Volt Switch away. Doesn't really have a. Well, he does have a ground type, but honestly, uh, he's not gonna play that game right now, so Sticky Webs are gonna come in. I do have haste, and I think this guy is forgotten, forgotten that fact. Um, I may actually try to avoid this or switch out to a Pokemon that doesn't really care. Uh, this can take Galvantula's moves quite well, resisting both of its stabs. Not to mention, it probably has like Hidden Power Ice, but I can switch out with uh, Scouted. Uh, he's probably gonna Volt Switch as well, but I'm slower than it, so I should be able to U-turn on anything he actually decides to go into. And if that's uh, like a, I don't know, let's see what what we actually switch out to. I would imagine Toxapex. I'm gonna go for the U-turn right now. He's Thunder Waving. Okay, mm, that, that's strange. Honestly, I I have not expect that at all. Uh, let me look at his team a bit. What does he really have? I should probably put Moonblast on this, right? I should put uh, Moonblast... Does it learn Moonblast, Tapulele? I cannot seem to say. It's been so long. But uh, this guy... I'm not too sure what kind of player he is. This is my first battle. So while I am rusty... I'm starting to realize that... Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, oh wow. <laughs> Switch out to Rotom. This is gonna be some free damage for him. But uh, I've started to realize that my... Um, the moves that I'm doing right now um, aren't really working for me. Let's wait a bit. My opponent is taking his time. Maybe we're gonna put a timer in here. Uh, you know, because we don't really have much to lose. And honestly, uh, we, you know, it's it's not disrespectful to put up a timer no matter what. So let's see. I'm not uh, okay. 
Your name is confusing me. So my opponent's probably like taking another bell right now, I would imagine. He's taking his time. I'm not gonna cut this part. I probably could actually. But no, I, I, when I do my live stuff, I kind of want to have it all in, you know. I just don't want to uh, fuck it up too much. So, he's definitely taking his time. I may actually consider taking under bell while I wait for this slowpoke to make his move. Uh, yeah, I want to ask you guys, uh, are you active in the chat, basically, when you take bells, you know? Normally, these are random players. If you come across uh, a person that knows you, which never really happens for me because I'm not a known player on Showdown, and most people probably wouldn't uh, even remember me anymore. <laughs> but, uh, you know, maybe from time to time. But honestly speaking, like, do you normally, like, talk to the people in here when you take bells? Uh, and uh, how has your experience on Showdown been so far over the, over the past... Um, you know, years, even a decade. I don't even know how long Shoda has been a fan, but it's been a fan for a long, long time. I believe from 2010, I believe first was, uh, um, what was it called? Uh, I cannot seem to remember what it was called, but it was a long, long time ago. But still, you know, I want to let you know, I want to not let you know, but I want to definitely know, uh, kind of curious a bit. How is your uh, uh, communication? in showdown in general you know because when you like look at things like mmo rpg games which this definitely isn't it but still you're kind of playing over the internet you're just not grinding um you know there's a lot of people that's got uh, no decency no respect lack of respect and uh, pretty childish behaviors and they make experiences pretty rough for the people uh for a couple of my friends uh, at least one of my friend played um uh, league of legends and the community there was poisonous, he told me, and I tried it once, uh, the experience was decent, but uh, after the bell, which we actually won, funny enough, everybody was still, like, you know, winning or losing, doesn't really matter, but everybody was still, so this guy just, out of the blue, just stopped playing, wow, that's strange, uh, the, yeah, but, it, it was definitely dif different, uh, I thought, you know, that, that, that community is different <laughs> but uh, you know what about showdown let me know in the comment section how is your uh, chat communication with the people over the years let's see what we got here um, you know what I'm gonna play this I actually want to play this yeah actually have a good 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 idea I'm gonna counter it if he leads with uh, Garchomp which I doubt um, that would be bad, and I'm expecting him to maybe potentially lead with Weavile, maybe, but then I doubt because look at my team, uh, my team is not, uh, my team is well suited against the likes of Weavile to be honest, uh, especially if I like lead with uh, the likes of uh, Arcanine for example, uh, I don't know what's happening with people, but they're definitely taking its time. Which is okay, I got all the patience in the world, I've just talked to you guys. Which is strange because I'm talking to, to uh, Mike right now, but... You know, trying to get involved and see what's up. Um, that is not a situation I want to be in. I am faster than it and he's gonna Mega anyways. So, generally speaking, I have to U-turn right now and I'll have to switch out. Now, I know for a fact he's not gonna Sludge Bomb, so I can switch out to Top Lele without no doubt. And then afterwards, let's see if I can do something, sh some sort of shenanigans. Not too sure what kind of player I'm facing. He switches out. So he isn't sure. Okay, so he fought for a second and I was actually Zorark. I mean, I was actually a, a legitimate Scizor, but I'm actually a Zorark, which he does not know yet. Um, actually, am I? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I'm not a Scizor. That's what he was actually trying to get at. Let me think. I can switch out to Arcanine and get some talks going on because I know that's gonna be a thing. And I'm actually gonna do that. I got the debidation, but I should be faster than if it's not Scarf, that is. And I should be able to burn anything that switches in. Of course, outside of the Heal Bell, a Togekiss, or Heal Bell, a Porion, stuff should be easier to handle. Now, I know Venusaur is not gonna come in, so I'm actually gonna go for the Toxic right now, expecting a Vaporeon as well. You know, that's fine. Uh, without Heal Bell or Rest, um, this thing is gonna be manageable. 
It's the dual status. Arkhan, everybody loved in the days. Uh, if you guys remember, still this, this, those were the days. Uh, I'm seeing one Pokemon being actually immune to the likes of Rotom, but at the same time, he doesn't like take a Hydro Pump. He does have Heal Bell, so that's very smart. My opponent to have a Heal Bell on his disposal. Having a Cleric is definitely a good choice all the time. Um, good choice indeed. Uh, I could switch out uh, directly right now into something to appropriately destroy uh, Garchomp. But I think it's too early and uh, I'm gonna need to think about this a little bit further. I know he's gonna switch out. He's not gonna try to take a Volt Switch. Or maybe he will not. Maybe he will just stay in. He switches out to Venusaur. So that's a middle play right there. Very... Uh, very smart on my opponent's behalf, he could have switched out to Garchomp there, but there's a chance I could Hydro Pump it on the switch. That definitely doesn't want to take unnecessary damage when Venusaur can sponge this quite well. Um, let me think here, um, I'm gonna need to switch out, I uh, think Tapu Lele is gonna be it. Uh, I sadly enough cannot, uh, uh, I cannot do Shenanigans right now, it's too too early. Venus Weavile is very obvious, it's very obvious. And me going for something that isn't psychic is also very obvious. But for now, I'm actually gonna go for uh, Thunderbolt because I want to damage Weavile. Uh, I actually want to. I'm Scarf, so he may not switch out to Weavile because what can Weavile really do against me one on one? You see that that's the thing. Psychic is super obvious, but at the same time, uh, I still want to scout a bit. I want to scout what kind of player he is. He switches out to Aporion, takes a heavy damage from the likes of Thunderbolt, so that's very cool. Uh, of course, I'm Scarf now, and he probably gets this idea that I'm Scarf, so I don't think he's gonna play this game, and I can two-shot him afterwards. So we need to switch out to Rotom, and I think I'm gonna Hydro Pump next after that. Yeah, he does have Protect Hubel, so this is an old-school Vaporeon we got going here. I'm actually gonna risk this and risk him to switch out to... Uh, I'm actually gonna think he thinks I'm Scarf because I I showed him my Volt Switch, so I think he's gonna switch out to his Garchomp or not. Wow, okay. I take that back. I did not expect that. Uh, well, in other way, I think Volt Switch is the superior choice. Then again, he could be faster. Uh, normally, they're not faster, I don't think, at least. Uh, and he isn't faster, so that's pretty cool. We got a crit there. He's gonna need to regain his health or else he will fail so basically we can switch out directly he could I earthquake also I can SD right here on this uh, thinking about it this could be a perfect moment but not really he's still got that magnet zone left I'm gonna switch out to the new mon that we got going sludge bomb is gonna do a lot but it cannot poison us she that does way too much damage to be honest I'm not liking that at all um, Honestly, Sludge Bomb is probably gonna kill at this range, I would assume at least. Uh, switching out to Magnezone is a thing also, but at the same time... Uh, hmm. Let's go for the Sludge Bomb for now. Okay, Vaporeon is gonna come in, let's see. Can we poison it? Yes, we can, that's pretty great. Uh, being poisoned, he does have Heal Bell. So I'm either gonna... I'm gonna actually need to damage this. I cannot believe how well it takes this... Uh, Sludge Bomb from me. It's pretty crazy. Let's go for the Dragon Pools. See how much damage we can do. He's going to Wish. Yes, that's fine. But the problem is that uh, Wish is not going really going to help you out at all because you're poisoned and uh, you're going to need to protect. But then, if it protects, what happens first? I, I completely forget what poison or Wish. Let me check. Okay, so he gets the Wish. I cannot believe he how well he actually takes his moves. It's quite ridiculous. Um, let's go for the Dragon Pulse again. Probably Sludge Bomb, right? Okay, he's gonna do that. Uh, let me think. 27%. 31. Oh, yeah, okay, so there is a difference between them. I completely messed it up. It's gonna protect, that's fine. Uh, because eventually he's gonna need to attack me. I completely messed it up. I should have Sludge Bomb the whole time uh, before I did. Oh! <laughs> That was a mistake on your behalf. That was definitely a mistake. Now, uh, in case he switches out, I think Sl uh, Dragon Pulse is a far superior choice. Um, that's really not gonna do anything for you, my friend. Um, I mean, it's kind of obvious that Vaporeon is basically a goner now, so you're gonna need to leave it in to die. Or maybe you think that you may be able to, to have a chance to preserve it? 
which I doubt, I doubt. I, I think I'm gonna lose this match looking at his team right now. I think he, he does have the upper hand, especially with Weavile involved. I think Weavile can do really well if he puts up the Stealth Rocks with the likes of Garchomp. But I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying this. I think my opponent is an excellent player right now and I'm a Rusty. So he's a, he's a challenge. Um, yeah, he's definitely, definitely a challenge. And we aren't seeing any Pokemon going down yet, which is pretty cool. Hope you guys aren't uh, bored of my commentary. Of course, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really, really rusty right now. I'm do I don't know what's happening. You know, my team, um, I'm not familiar with the new moves. You guys can update me in the comment section below. Tell me the stuff that changed. Tell me the stuff that I can do to make my team better. Because my team is mostly special outside of Zork and Scizor. And it needs to change drastically. I want you guys to change my team. Honestly, like change the stuff that you think would work really well with this Pokemon because this Pokemon is like the epitome of this team It needs to be stabilized. It has is that like it's like the st staple, okay? It's a staple of this team and uh, This Pokemon is the leader So uh, basically with this Pokemon evolved, I want you guys to help me out change the Pokemon that they're in and uh, for some reason my opponent again is uh, is I, I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's a lag, but I doubt. I'm really, really surprised right now. I, I cannot seem to say what's going on. But so how have you guys been? You know, life has been incredible. It's been so freaking fantastic lately. Like you guys don't even know uh, the 2018 plans that I have right now. It's it's crazy. Uh, I wanna I wanna actually travel to Philippines, which is my plan. Uh, my girlfriend is from there, and uh, oh man, just the, the stuff that's been happening, the the, the incredible moments, especially with the people involved lately, that I could even make logos from home was just ah, oh, you guys don't even know the feelings, man. It's crazy. Anyways, I could U-turn right now. I really could, uh, and I, I'm definitely gonna kill him, right? I mean, I should be able to kill him even with the snare. Nah, you know what? I can't play this. I have to. <laughs> I'm not gonna gain anything from that, so I'm gonna need to play this game. Uh, we got uh, a lot of speed. Let me tell you, we got a lot, a lot of speed. And I think we can take a one eye shard from this. Look at that speed. I forget. I, I completely forgot the fact that if we got my speed, I'm just gonna outspeed just about everything. I think I need to preserve this mon. I honestly need to. Uh, I I'm not gonna play this. I'm gonna switch out to Arcanine right now. Uh, I'm gonna need to switch out to and I think I shard would kill me off, especially if he is life warped. Damn, man, that that's crazy. Let's switch, uh, oh, man, Vaporeon may be able to take just about anything a pack added, and he's gonna need to switch out to it, right? Uh, at least I would assume, and Vaporeon should be able to be slower than me. <coughs> Pardon me. Mm, let me think. Vaporeon top Lele. Uh, I think the middle ground Pokemon right now would most likely be uh, Tapu Lele. He's gonna switch out to Garchomp. Okay, Garchomp is not a Mon that I was expecting. I really did not expect Garchomp right now. But uh, I think I should be able to go for the Sahik because he probably doesn't know if I'm Scarf yet. And without him knowing that, he's most likely gonna sack his... Uh, yeah, he's gonna sack his uh, Vaporeon, I would assume. So one of his Pokemon is down. The stuff are looking a little bit better for us. Um, I don't know why it was saying Xenon has 30 seconds left. Why, what do you mean 30 seconds? Jesus Christ, I was just... <laughs> uh, but uh, let's go for the side again. Maybe he's gonna... Okay, so he's gonna play that game. That's fine. That's fine. Weavile can be completely shut down by the likes of Arcanine. Or... Well, actually, the likes of Arcanine. <laughs> gonna switch out to Arcanine. He may actually make a double switch right now. Actually, I could think about this a little bit. Why is it... Is it la Oh, I cannot believe this. 20 seconds left. Are you serious with me? So stuff are uh, going downtown for me right now. Pretty crazy. Uh, let me think. Uh, mm, burn. I can burn. I can toxic. I can... Yeah, I'm gonna toxic. I don't think Vapori is gonna come in. Oh, he does switch out Vapori. Even after me making that move that I did back there. Uh, strange enough, he still does that. Uh, let me think. He's gonna need to Hue Bell, or he's gonna need to Wish. In other way, uh, me doing uh, some significant damage is gonna be very important. So I think I'm gonna need to switch out to Tapu Lele right now. Uh, let's see what's gonna happen. Mm, wish, okay, that's fine. Because uh, even with Wish, you're gonna be in in a position where you're gonna need to eventually switch out any anyways. 
Uh, and I think I'm gonna go for the Saik. I cannot believe five seconds left. Are you kidding me? So it's lagging. It's actually it's actually lagging big time, honestly. And uh, I think he's gonna need to switch out. He's gonna need to switch out, but I'm still five seconds. Left. Are you serious? Oh, he doesn't switch out. We had a crit right there. Mwah! Amazing. He probably expect us to. Um, Bra, dude, it's one crit, and <laughs> he's like, bra. Yeah, can't happen, man. I'm just gonna say sorry, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> sorry, bra. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, not your fault. Eh? <laughs> it's a good match, you know. Uh, I cannot, uh, we cannot deny that. So I think I'm gonna will will this right now. Bound to happen. Exactly, true that. I like this man. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, 17 seconds left. I don't know why my timer is so low because I think I was clicking stuff pretty frequently. I, I don't even know. I think it's lagging. But again, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this match. And uh, you know, D, -D Bone uh, 999, you know, thank you for being a respectful player. You know, uh, I credit you for being a sport. Uh, he's gonna switch out to Garchomp, and we managed to will -wise. come on, do you have a... No, you don't. If it could be a resting one, I, I cannot seem to say, but uh, in way, it is burnt, and I think I may be able to manage to take this Earthquake from it, so I'm gonna Morning Sun, and we am... Wow, look at that, you see? This is those status Arcanine, and you just gotta love this beast, because it is the epitome of good. It is actually really, really good. Go for Morning Sun again. He does go for the Stealth Rocks really nicely done on his behalf because Stealth Rocks are gonna dent this Pokemon quite significantly. But the problem is he cannot uh, really damage us anymore. So I can talk secure. I can play this middle game. He's gonna roar us away. That I did not expect. I didn't know uh, Garchomp gets roar, but that is pretty cool. That is really legitimately cool. I like that. I really do. Let's see what can we do right here. How do we handle? How do we actually handle? Not who I wanted. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh. <coughs> That's a good one. <laughs> but I'm kind of dead anyway, so I think I'm gonna switch out to Rotom right now and go for the for the Hades. I think uh, thinking about it, uh, Dragon Claw. Okay, that's not gonna do much. We are resting one, so we should be able to take this. We're gonna go for the Defog right now and get rid of the Stealth Rocks and get rid of all the things involved. Yes. Oh man, it's it's it feels fine you know having a, a very good challenging bell and it seems that my opponent is enjoying it as well i think i'm actually giving him a challenge surprisingly enough so that's pretty cool uh, i like that uh, i think i'm gonna go for the world switch right now just to get some sa sa serious damage and some serious damage i could switch out to this but i think i'm gonna most likely switch out to something else i could switch out to scissor um yeah i could actually switch out to scissor but then he's got that magnet Nah, switch out to Scizor, yeah. Switch out to Scizor, I think he's not gonna play that game. That middle game, I think that would be too risky for him. Is this Rape? I, I doubt that's Rape. But I think Magnet... Magnet Zone is kinda obvious right now. And I could make a middle play right now also. Um, let's see, what can we do? Uh, I think Zork is a good choice. Switch out to Zork, yeah. Garchomp coming in. Nice! But we are Rotom and we're at full HP. Is my Rotom at full? No, it's not. So he will most likely get this idea that uh, he knows that I'm, uh, I'm a Zork. So should I be faster than it? He's got Stealth Rocks. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> I don't know, guys, what's happening right now. But uh, as you can clearly see, I was clicking stuff and the lag was like... For some reason... Look, we got like Xenon has 20 seconds left while he had one. What was going on? Like, I actually have to go back a bit. Where exactly. Why exactly do I have this, this little. S look how little. <laughs> Are you serious with me? The time was actually just going down. Okay, so we draw Frosty, send out Garchomp, Arkan come back, and as you guys can see. The timer never really stopped, and it was just going down. 
Well, that's unfortunate. My opponent left. He probably thought I was. It was due to an activity, but it wasn't. So if you're by any chance watching this, or if you YouTuber, if anybody knows this guy, uh, you know, let him know to come check this battle out. But I think it was a really good match. I think I may have had a chance here. Uh, I would have just need to get rid of his Weavile, which Arcanine could really well do. I think at least. But you know, it's kind of hard to say. You never know when you can get outplayed. But. It was what it was. I'm recording this and I don't think about, you know, chopping stuff. I just want to give you guys the raw footage of my stuff. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. But, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Give a like, be a sport. Uh, remember, you know, you're not in here yourself. You know, be good to people. You know, g give them a challenge. You know, it depends how you are. Honestly, you can be a dick too. You know, if you're enjoying yourself, that's all that matters. That's all I wanted to say for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay cool. Take care of yourself. Peace.